gonna show you how to get a booty like this. I'm gonna help you on your journey to come out here bootylicious like this, all thick and juicy. I keep it juicy, juicy. I eat that lunch. Welcome neighbors, it's your girl Alexis, and today I am here to talk to you about how I got thick on a vegan diet. So, full disclosure, I am not a curvy girl naturally. I am very thin naturally. In fact, if I don't work out and I don't eat right, I will lose all the weight that I have gained. So, I've been vegan for about over four years now. Yeah, I think it's definitely been over four years now. Yay to me. I went vegan for ethical and environmental reasons. I believe that all sentient life should be cherished and I think eating dead carcasses is disgusting. I also know that climate change is going to be the end of us, so at least I can say I did my part. In this video, I will be showing you all of the different stuff that I eat on a regular basis. I'm focusing mainly on the food that's going to help you gain faster. I have had personal experience with, so yeah, let's get started. Before we go any further, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, be my friend, be my neighbor. So the first food I'm going to be talking about is beans. Yes, legumes, beans, all of that are definitely staples in the vegan diet. If you have never ate at a vegan restaurant, I can almost promise you that there will be beans on the menu. I tend to stick with black beans, but sometimes I get a little frisky and I pop these suckers out. These are lentils. These are both really rich in protein. In fact, Per half a cup of black beans, you're gonna get seven grams of protein, which is pretty solid. And all of these foods are going to be high in carbs because when you're trying to get thick, carbs are your friend. Per cup of lentils, you're going to get 40 grams of carbs and 18 grams of protein. I mean, how do you beat that? If you do not like black beans or lentils, there are plenty of other options in the legume family, such as pinto beans, kidney beans, black-eyed peas, chickpeas, which I often eat. And chickpeas are called garbanzo beans too, just in case that you're confused about that. I know at one point I was. Lima beans. I know y'all had lima bean soup. Adzuki beans, fire, edamame, etc. You see there's lots of different options here. All right, pasta. I love pasta. I typically stick with whole wheat or my gluten-free brown rice pasta. This is gonna be my my absolute fave because I don't get as bloated and I think I might have a gluten allergy or intolerance. And this is from a brand called Banza, Bonza, but basically it's pasta made out of chickpeas. Per serving of this Bonza pasta, you're going to get 25 grams of protein, 42 grams of carbs. You want calorie dense things here, people. In this whole wheat pasta, you're gonna get 40 grams of carb, and it's not as high in the protein margin, but it is still six grams of protein. And my absolute favorite, 43 grams of carbs and five grams of protein. All right. Next thing we're gonna talk about is brown rice. I know there's been a lot of confusion about what the difference is between white rice and brown rice, but brown rice is going to have a low glycemic index, which means it's not gonna spike your blood sugar levels, which is what you want. And a whopping 35 grams of carbs and three grams of protein. Whole grain bread and bagels. These are gonna be from the same brand, Dave's Killer Bread. And I know there's a lot of confusion about, you know, bread being bad for you, but if you get the right kind of bread, you're good, sis. I, I promise you, you're good. Now, these are great because they're both organic and it's whole grain bread. Don't get none of that white bread because that's not gonna do anything for you. And this bread actually is rich in omega-3s, which we like. We like very much, great for skin, great for brain, great for, I think, eyes. And with a slice of this bread, you're going to get dum, 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 22 grams of carbs and 5 grams of protein. With this bagel, a lot more dense in calories, a lot more dense in carbs. Per bagel, you're going to get 51 grams of carbs and 12 grams of protein. 
This is my absolute favorite of all the things that I eat. Again, gluten-free because I might have a gluten intolerance. I'm not sure, but oatmeal will get you thick, sis. It'll get you thick, thick, thick before you even know it. I like to do the old-fashioned rolled oats because I like the texture of it, and also it's higher in calories. Per half a cup, you're gonna get 38 grams of carbs and seven grams of protein. Potatoes. These are sweet potatoes, AKA yams, whatever you wanna call them, but there are also red potatoes, golden potatoes, and russet potatoes. These have the most minerals and vitamins, and they are not a simple carb because we want complex carbs. This is whole grain cereal. It's nice for when you're in a pinch and you don't have a lot of time and you need to eat something that is dense in calories quickly. 40 grams of carbs and 12 grams of protein. Now it's time for your healthy fats. You need fat in your diet and don't let anybody tell you different. I like to throw coconut oil in my protein shakes and my oatmeal. Coconut oil is great for your skin and it offers 13 grams of fat per serving. Almond butter. So my skin is sensitive as sh and eating peanut butter flares up acne. Learned that from my dermatologist. So I stick with almond butter and it offers 17 grams of fat per serving, eight grams of carbs, and five grams of protein. All right, let's get into the raw stuff. So I put almonds in in my oatmeal every morning. I stick with almonds because they're great to balance your hormones. They are also high in magnesium and vitamin E. Anytime I'm eating a salad, which is relatively often, I am putting sunflower seeds in it. I just love the way they taste. And with these guys, you're gonna get 11 grams of fat, seven grams of carbs, and six grams of protein. Raw pumpkin seeds. Sometimes to spice it up, I throw these in my oatmeal. Other times, salad, very versatile. You're gonna get 15 grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and nine grams of protein. Oh, and I almost forgot, avocado. Great, great, great source of fat. Okay, let's get into the protein. Now, I don't have soy curls with me, but I do definitely eat them. Soy curls are very versatile. They kind of have the texture of chicken and are great in tacos and burritos and even pasta. Now, tofu, I eat regularly. I do a lot of tofu scrambles, but I've also eaten these on sandwiches, put it in salads, all sorts of stuff. Very versatile. Oh, boy, boy, boy. I know you guys heard of this. This is the Beyond Meat Beef. This is really cool because you can do a lot of different things with it because of the way it's packaged. It's not just like the burgers. I have made tacos, burritos, kind of like restaurant deals, meatballs, all sorts of stuff. It has an amazing flavor and best thing about it is there there's no animals hurt in the making. It's also soy and gluten free. And per serving, you're gonna get 18 grams of fat and 20 grams of protein. <sighs> this is my tried and true. I've been using this almost the entire time I've been vegan. I was in search of the perfect vegan protein and this is what I ended up with after trying a bunch of different ones. It has all of the great ingredients that you need. It literally has like every vegetable and fruit that you could ever think of, all your minerals, Minerals, your vitamins and it's 20 grams of protein per scoop it also has probiotics in it which is great for your gut health and there's also a vitamin in there that is pretty hard to find in the vegan world and that's vitamin b12 and one scoop is gonna give you an entire day's worth of it garden of life please keep doing what you're doing because you're amazing and then last but not least this is also from the same brand but it is just kind of like an on-the-go protein bar it has a solid amount of calories 9 grams of fat 36 grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein great for after the gym great for when you're on the go nice little snack okay so I'm not getting into all the fruits and veggies that I eat daily but I am going to talk about these dried fruits because they will help you gain weight like crazy these are actually tart cherries I put them in my oatmeal this is a box of dried mango. Tropical fruits in general make you gain weight. So bananas, you know, pineapples, stuff like that. I think it has to do with their sugar content, but it's not bad sugar because it's natural sugar. All right, that is going to do it for this video. Those are the things that I eat daily to keep healthy weight on as a vegan. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. If 
you're thinking about going on a vegan diet and if you have a question about the vegan diet in general or the lifestyle, please let me know in the comments. And I wish you guys luck on your journey. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And until next time, 